it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this is my 28th book that I've been reading for the 2015 reading challenge. I will put a little link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is about but basically it's to read 52 books over a year with each book coming from a different category. And the book that I have been reading this time comes from the category of a book based on a true story and I have been reading Bill of Rights, and please excuse my pronunciation here, by Fred Dagua. I do apologise if I've pronounced that incorrectly. There's too many vowels all in a row and I don't know how that's pronounced. But you can see his name here. Anyway, I will read you the blurb and then talk to you a bit about the book. Bill of Rights, a narrative poem, is a new work by the acclaimed poet and novelist Fred Dagua. Dag it tells the extraordinary story of the 1978 mass suicide in Jonestown, Guyana, from the point of view of a young man who has been seduced by the false rhetoric of the Reverend Jim Jones. In verse that mixes a gallimorphy of linguistic registers and moves through an exhilarating range of rhythms from the repetitions of biblical language to the riffs of pop popular music, Daguya looks at the nature of religious zealotry and the suffering and stalwartness of one of its victims. So this is a bit of a different book that I've been reading this time. It's a poem. It's not a book of poetry. It's a continuous poem. I chose this after seeing a film called The Sacrament on Netflix a while back. And it's about a religious cult that commits mass suicide and I find things like that very disturbing but also quite fascinating what makes people behave that way and do those kinds of things and I just had a little look to see what it was inspired by and and where the idea came from from that for that film and it was inspired by the Jonestown massacre and I didn't really know anything about that so I just had a, had a little read about it and it is a very sad story about people who left their homes and left their families and went to a place called Jonestown. It's not a real place, it was just named that after the Reverend Jim Jones. And it was like a cultish commune where the Reverend was this supposed god or messenger of god or something. And after a reporter or a, a politician, I can't remember exactly, went to the camp. Reverend Jim Jones was frightened that it would all be torn apart and this, that and the other. And he encouraged his entire, I don't know what you'd call it, congregation, I don't know, to commit mass suicide. And it is such a sad, sad story. And watching this film, The Sacrament, it was just horrific watching parents give their babies this poisonous juice it was um you know a, a juice mixture with cyanide and i don't know what else mixed into it and watching people kill themselves for this man the father it was, it was just horrible but again i'm fascinated by these things and, and why people do them and i and i just had a you know a little internet search and I found that this book was based on the actual Jonestown massacre massacre suicide mass suicide and it's a very fascinating read it's difficult because it is a poem and I feel that this should be read aloud it feels like a performance piece rather than a piece to read silently in your head the way things are written, it's very rhythmical, it's very bouncy, and I, and I feel the power of the words would be more prevalent if you were hearing it in a, in a large room with, you know, music and other bits and pieces going on. So, it's the story of one person who has moved from London to Guyana to join this cult, and... From the very beginning, it seems disturbing because everybody there has a gun. And if it's a if it's a loving, peaceful commune, which most pertain to be, why would you need a gun? So that's very disturbing. It also goes on to show 
the disturbed nature of father. I will say there are a couple of, of naughty swear words in here and some quite explicit sexual imagery. So if you are young, just be warned that, that there, you know, there's things that aren't particularly wholesome in this book. The thing that worried me the most, and I don't know whether or not this is actually true or whether or not it was just something that the author imagined to be true, but a man couldn't marry someone that he loved until father had had sex with them and made them pregnant. And then you could then marry your wife, but the father had to have impregnated them first. And the, 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 the voice of the poem doesn't have a name but you can tell that he just doesn't fully understand why that's necessary. he It's almost as though he's blindly joined this cult and doesn't realise what he's got himself into. And not all of it is easily understandable straight away. As with a lot of poetry, there's a lot of symbolism, there's a lot of metaphor that you, to fully understand, you would have to kind of read it a few times. But it is very interesting. It's an interesting approach to something. Like I say, it's a different type of book that I've read for this challenge and kind of out of my general reading habits. I don't tend to just read poetry. I have poetry books that I may pick up every now and then and flick through and have a look. But to read a poetry book from cover to cover is certainly different. But it does add an interesting approach to this very bizarre story. And obviously, as it goes on, it becomes more and more disturbing until they get to the point when the father, the all-loving father, tells everybody that they have to kill themselves and, and they'll be closer to God so it will be fine and they take this poisoned potion of, you know, juice, delicious tasting juice with poisons and cyanide and I don't know what else mixed in and it will be an easy death and it will be fine and don't worry. And again, same with the film, parents are giving this to their children. And I did have a look at some pictures of the actual aftermath of Jonestown. And it's, it's sad, it is so, so sad and so disturbing. But like I say, I'm interested in the human psyche and what makes people behave that way. I can't imagine ever doing it. Not to say I would never do it, never say never, but I can't imagine how people could happily kill their children and be so convinced that that's the right thing to do and happily kill themselves and believe that's the right thing to do. I don't know. But I, I would certainly recommend this if you are interested in poetry and you can kind of understand the rhythm and, and how it's put together rather than reading it as a storybook. It is a poem. But, yeah, give this one a go if you're slightly disturbed and deranged like me um but yeah quite a good read did enjoy this one so if you're interested in any of my other book reviews then please subscribe to my channel i put new videos out every time i've read a book and i occasionally give out writing advice and talk about my own writing and books and well really anything to do with books really so if you're interested in reading and or writing then please subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon have a good day Bye bye